Hi, Akbar. Uh, hi, Dr. Shashita. Good evening. Uh, welcome to Healthcare Special Interest Group. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Uh, I suppose this is your uh, first meeting, right? If the Hyperlogia Special Interest Group. Yes, yes. The first okay. meeting. Very, very welcome. So, like, uh, you are part of Hyperledger or? Uh... I'm, I'm part of the A Digital Healthcare um, uh, group. Okay, 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 very good. So, like, I will. Uh... So, the above is not your ID, right? What I'm uh, uh, displaying? Uh, no, I'm, I have just come as Akbar Ali, that's all. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't have so you uh, you don't have a new ID. Fine. Yeah. So like um, Hyperledger, uh, like, shall we wait for another two minutes if anyone is joining? Yeah, I think I think we can wait. Okay. Yeah, we just wait for a few minutes and just uh, check if any other participants join in. I think that will be good. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, yeah I just wanted to know, uh, yeah, like what are the indication or what are the aim goals of this um, uh, class? Okay, no, this is not a class. Like, uh, we actually, like, if you see, Hyperledger is, um, uh, it comes under the Linux Foundation. Like, Hyperledger right. Foundation, it comes under the umbrella Linux Foundation, okay. and this, uh, under this uh, Hyperledger. We have okay. like, uh, this is the wiki page of Hyperledger where we have different spaces like uh, healthcare as a, uh, special interest group is one. We have Hyperledger okay. India chapter, regional chapters are there. There are eight okay. regional chapters and like uh, different uh, programs, collaborative learning programs happening, mentorship program happening. And like Hyperledger has different projects, around 15 projects are there. Eight are uh, okay. uh, graduated and uh, Others are in, in incubation period and 50 plus labs are also there. So this is what, what we call this Hyperledger is a permissioned blockchain. So like this uh, uh, in um, like uh, uh, in the DHAI, we yeah. were learning about uh, uh, like they are yet to start the uh, AI into this healthcare domain, isn't it? But yes, over yes. here, like we are exploring blockchain where uh, transparency and where immutability, where uh, trustworthiness. Yeah, yeah but I yeah. want to ask you, like what are the like, um, like uh, areas which we can use? See, one thing is the medical records in the blockchain. Yeah, yeah of course, use. of course. Uh, Apart from that, again, some part of it will be our medical images because I'm a radiologist mm. by profession. So, other any other areas? Because my sister also, like uh, last year, she was asking me. Uh, she is a software engineer working in UK. So mm -hmm. she was also asking when I think few years back, like few, two three years back, when blockchain technology was introduced initially, um, and uh, uh, she was asking. But I could just tell her like. Uh, uh, it uh, based on what she told regarding uh, my understanding about blockchain at that time. So I told her, uh, apart from this, uh, I actually don't know like where we can actually use blockchain apart from uh, these, uh, I mean, apart from medical records or uh, other than that. Um, like okay. what are the areas where hyper hyperledger is actually uh, uh, like interested in working? Uh, yeah. Wherever, like, uh, uh, one second. Yeah. So this uh, Hyperledger, as I mentioned in Hyperledger, Hyperledger Healthcare is a special interest group. So over here, like, I suppose my slides are visible, right? Yes, yes, yes. So all are welcome. This is what we call like it is yeah. Uh, yeah. like open for everybody. So we yeah. our code of contact, like there is uh, no differentiation in anyone in 
in any cause like there is no differentiation in uh, computer engineer to uh, medical doctor to like all are welcome because like uh, we need uh, inter uh, disciplinary uh, collaboration for doing the real time applications right and uh, so what our goal our goal is like for building better together uh, it's a open source and uh, yeah. discord is there like uh, 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 what the members benefit like thought leadership we can express ourselves and like we can collaboratively develop something in a open source and uh, we will be aware of the yeah. 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 projects community right. is also there so this is yeah. like i will stop over here the different yeah. uh, ways how we can get involved yeah yeah, uh, just I would like to join the hyperledger community. Maybe yeah. after that, I'll just check it and then uh, join. I mean, just you, you need. I need my I enter some particulars about myself and an email ID. That's all, no. Uh, yes, yes. I will. I will just uh, give you how you have to get into this. Um, uh, how to create your? We have to create our Linux ID. <clears throat> okay. With your uh, personal ID, you can create it. And uh, then you can like access all this uh, without any uh, uh, difficulty. So like, uh, I I wish you have a short introduction about yourself. So you you are a, a doctor by profession, radiologist. And it, that's great. And anything else you want to. Uh, uh, give more, more details on you and i i know that you are from india yeah 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 i'm from india yes okay okay and mm -hmm. you you were like you want to explore um more on like in the healthcare domain how blockchain technology can be used yeah. am i right yes 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 okay. because my understanding goes i can <clears throat> if i if i meet people who uh, uh, are actually working on something and they can tell me that okay there will be a, a thoughtful idea mm -hmm. idea that uh, again I relate to and I can me actually I'm not taking can care. maybe uh, uh, hello Uh, I'm not able to hear you. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Now you are uh, you are audible. Oh, no, no. I just wanted to know the uh, the additional uh, where this uh, where the blockchain uh, as a technology can be used in different domains. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, okay. Uh, so we we have like if you see, I I will tell like what, what is already existing. See, yes, there, yes, there is uh, something called immunochain. Oh, all right. Okay, so this oh. immunochain, like uh, immunization chart, like it is by uh, Kerala Blockchain, and uh, it is a pilot project in uh, huh. Kerala. It is being oh. uh, implemented. What they are doing is uh, from uh, like to uh, through health centers, like uh, every like. Uh, Mother and child care will be there, isn't it? That immunization chart yeah. will be maintaining. So that like, it is being recorded. So there is a transparent system. The complete system is there. So at the oh. end, like it will look like an app, normal app, but a distributivity, uh, uh, like um, it's a decentralized and distributed app. So where okay. like, uh, uh, transparency is there, immutability is there. So that is one thing. And the vaccine tracking, that is one, uh, I forgot the name of the uh, project. So what they did was like, uh, that they used the Hyperledger only, uh, projects only for uh, implementing that. Uh, like uh, how, how many like uh, vaccines availability is there? for uh, which place it is required. So the complete tracking and uh, where it goes. So the complete list, it is uh, like 
uh, maintained. So that is one application. So wherever, uh, I will again, I will tell uh, for a distributed and decentralized uh, setting, where, wherever we want transparency, uh, security, yeah. immutability. Security, yes, blockchain, correct, correct. Yeah. Blockchain, I mean, yeah, we security, can yeah. implement this, uh, uh, especially Hyperledger. Uh, like there are many projects, Hyperledger Base is there. Hyperledger Sawtooth is there. See, when we are going with uh, uh, our tracking, IoT technology has to be used. So it will be a mix of a uh, bit of IoT and uh, blockchain. Everything together we will be using. Um, okay. Hi, Mira. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Like. Uh, yeah, I'm part of the uh, IAC. Uh, okay, okay. So, IAC, like uh, DHA program, and yes, please. Hello. And, uh, Hello. yeah, but there is some disturbance. Can you speak? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually in the bus, so there might be some disturbance. Okay. Uh, so, basically, I'm a research associate at AAA in Bangalore. Working with the uh, of AI in healthcare, so I just did, I'm doing this IAC uh, digital certificate as well. And I saw the Zoom meeting called the info, so I thought I would join the project. That's great. That's great. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, like. Uh, Hyperledger Healthcare Special Interest Group. So like myself is one of the co-chair and along with there are three more uh, co-chairs available. Like uh, there is a separate Discord channel and email listing is available. Uh, I will request you all to like uh, subscribe to that. And this is like it's already uh, uh, over last two weeks back. And like uh, the what we are planning for 2024. This is like uh, bi-weekly calls or like monthly ones. Here is a form. I will be uh, sharing this agenda also with you all. Please take some time and uh, read through it and uh, get your Linux ID, uh, LFIDs we call. So and uh, are actively participate in it. So uh, like I got few responses in, in this form like to conduct a meeting for uh, like monthly ones. So like whatever you people feel, like whether it needs to be done monthly ones or bi-weekly, like that we can continue doing that. And we have a LinkedIn page for it. And uh, the meeting link is also given here. And we like uh, wish to have our own blog where like healthcare and uh, applications like with the use of blockchain and what can be done. We can propose it. And so like we can uh, create a big group and start working on that. This is whatever we are doing is open source. So everyone are welcome as well as whatever we do will be available publicly. And we can create a like go, go ahead and create a ebook and uh, like start uh, doing some collaborative projects also like so this is uh, from our last meeting so if you uh, the people who joined uh, like what they were telling is we have to uh, look through the market strategies and new case studies like I, I was telling about this vaccine tracking and immunogen and and like that we have our health records right so like there uh, we can maintain the privacy at the same time it can be used for research purpose. For that, we can develop uh, application using blockchain. That can be done. And like uh, like that, a number of other uh, applications that uh, it can be uh, kind of any one of the supply chain, uh, like traceability or uh, anything we can go ahead with the medical field. Uh, like uh, that can be done. So EHR, EMR, all those 
like libraries can be uh, uh, like uh, developed we can tell and uh, the wiki page like this is the meeting link what i am sharing uh, it has a separate wiki page if you go to the hyperledger wiki spaces the healthcare sig there you will be seeing uh, different uh, uh, like whatever earlier meetings, everything you can see. Um, so once again, I welcome you. And as it is the first meeting for you, I cannot ask these questions to you. So like uh, we can like uh, call you people, like we can conduct webinars, case study presentations. So if anyone of you are willing to uh, provide some webinars, you can uh, inform us. So like, we will be happy to host you for the next uh, meeting, in the next meeting. So like, so this is what like, I wish to convey to you people. Do you want to uh, convey something to the group? Yeah, thank you for the introduction on the uh, so this is for using blockchain technology. Hyperledger is the open source which uh, implements the blockchain technology and is available for use in different domains. And we are looking at the usage in the virtual domain. Is that the correction of the uh, Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, actually, I could follow you after way. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, I just wanted to check whether this is the hyperledger is the uh, open source tool which implements the blockchain technology which can be used in different domains. And here we are looking at its use in the healthcare domain. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So you mentioned something about traceability. Can you expand more on that uh, as to? Uh, is it about uh, documents or even, you know, for example, uh, the kind of use case I'm thinking is many times uh, the patient traceability itself becomes a problem. Uh, is, there, is, there, is it helpful for tracking a patient to different uh, facilities as they go? Is that a possibility? We can actually. That is actually a good idea. See, like uh, the patient traceability means. Uh, like uh, uh, their with their mobile data, like uh, we can have some uh, uh, connectivity through that, and we can do that. But like they should have the app installed. Like we can develop it as an app. And like for example, you are I, I suppose you are uh, thinking about this COVID type of. Am I right? Uh, not actually. Yeah. Uh... I have uh, uh, another uh, person with whom I have looked at a bit about my new issue. So it is about uh, uh, the children who are identified as uh, severe monthly my nutrition cases. Uh, they are sent to the nutrition and nutrition centers or in absence. And that's later once they go back to the community, uh, they, they are expected to have follow up visits with the primary health care center or the community health care center. And so on, but it doesn't happen. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that, uh, how this kind of capability of the child uh, can be followed up and what can be done to research that they don't uh, need to follow up. And every time we get a community work on interact with them, or they, uh, how to ensure the follow up and also how to start the project to try to prevent the child. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, uh, Akbar, do you have any inputs on this? Okay, let me take it. The see here, yeah, we uh, currently we don't have any uh, application, especially for this, but we can develop something. Like we can take it as a new project. Like we can. Uh, we all can uh, discuss, collaborate, and we can start working on it. Like uh, we can create an uh, app type of that can be like installed in 
the caretakers or the parents phone and like we can have some uh, uh, dep depending on the dates like the follow ups like we can give some uh, notification yeah, if you have developed the uh, simple the application there people can log in and do the follow up but on the would blockchain as a technology uh is in any way to do it uh both formal and uh can we ensure that no follow up is missed or what kind of things can happen if we could go to dash a block using blockchain uh how would it what are the possibilities if we use blockchain uh in this case if there are any benefit in using blockchain See, like uh, the uh, blockchain, uh, like it will, uh, at the end, it will look like an app only. The technology used will be blockchain to ensure uh, uh, transparency as well as immutability. People cannot uh, uh, alter the data. Like trustworthiness will be there. For that, we are using this, providing this technology. And uh, like overall, it will like, look like an app, we can use it. You would have seen the Digiatra app, right? You would have, so people may be using that. So it looks like a normal app, but uh, behind it, a blockchain technology is running. Similarly, in our, when, when we are developing an app for this particular case, uh, like uh, this one, blockchain will run in the backend, you can tell. So the thing is like, uh, uh, there we we have to create a con like uh, distributed environment between the uh, healthcare centers this parents of this uh, like uh, children so like like that we have to go take it forward i don't uh, get it fully because the audio is not so clear so i think okay, we can okay. discuss it in the upcoming meeting we can bring yeah. more people and we can plan it out and uh, okay, because yeah. like okay okay uh, yes so that we can do yeah, sure sure uh, if, uh, i really don't know the <laughs> internals of how the blockchain can be implemented so if there are any technology experts in the group i will be <laughs> Happy yeah, actually, like right. when we start, like uh, uh, you, you, I suppose you would not have uh, joined at the beginning, but this meeting is also recorded, and you will be seeing the recordings also. There is Discord group where, like, uh, uh, like very uh, experienced people are available, so like they can help us out, and. Uh, a number of developers are there in the community. So like when we go with the uh, idea, like we can brainstorm and we can like uh, from the medical side, you people are there to support how it should work. And like from the development side, we can bring in people. So like uh, today the uh, strength is very less, but like I will push, push this forward this idea also and let's see like uh, in the upcoming weeks uh, i suppose there will be more people joining and when we start something there will be more uh, uh, footfall as well as like uh, contributions coming in sure thank you so much thank you mira and i suggest you to create your uh, lfid and so like you will be getting the mails notifications and all so I, I would like to ask you, like, should we conduct the meetings bi-weekly or uh, once in a month? Uh, I'm not, I don't have enough context to uh, uh, give you a opinion, actually. I think I will probably attend a few of the meetings before I can uh, give you a solution. Okay, okay. Uh, Akbar, what do you feel like? Uh, uh, does this meetings to be bi weekly, like, or once in a month? Hello, Dr. Surjit.
Hello. Okay, Dr. Sujit's audio is not yet connected. Um, so actually, that's all from my side uh, for today. And we can uh, like brainstorm like what Mira has uh, proposed, uh, but we need uh, to hear from her very clearly and uh, we will work together. So, thank you for joining once again. I think we can uh, find off the meeting. If anything else is there to share, please go ahead. And uh, yeah, yeah, Mira. Uh, I have to uh, now get down from the bus and I will not be able to keep uh, connected. I will probably connect with you to the uh, uh, Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, oh, thank you for thank joining. You, uh, Akbar, uh, you can ask your uh, like uh, sister you are telling, right? Let her also uh, actively participate. We can like... Uh, um, work together. So, shall we wind up the meeting for today? Okay. Uh, Dr. Sujit is having still uh, trouble with the audio. Hi, Dr. Sujit. Good evening. Thanks for joining. Naturally, we are winding off the meeting. The recording is available as well as like uh, we can connect with you in the upcoming weeks. Hello. Hello, doctor. Hello. How are you? I am good. So this your, is Hyperledger uh, uh, Healthcare Special Interest Group, and I am one of the co-chairs. So, mm -hmm. like, uh, I would like you to introduce yourself so the mm -hmm. other community members, when they are seeing the recordings, they will be knowing that you have joined Hyperledger uh, okay, Foundation. Okay. Yes. So when we, when I should introduce? Yes, please go ahead now. No, no, uh, give me uh, one minute only time. I, I'm just, I'm, actually, I'm sitting like that. Hello, hello. Yes, yes. Give me two minutes time. Okay, okay. Now your video is not required. You can introduce, just stop. Right from. So I'm giving uh, uh, online treatment to all species of animals, right from sparrows to elephants. So we are uh, integrating uh, this uh, holistic system of medicine with the conventional system of medicine. Uh, so nowadays, uh, I'm a bat meto for Dr. Nsuya, and uh, we are uh, this, uh, doing an advanced certificate in. Artificial intelligence in digital health and imaging uh, from IISC Bangalore. So that's my introduction. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you.
thank you doctor thank you so like uh, we are uh, this is hyperledger special interest group so like mm -hmm. uh, thank you for joining and i will request you to create your uh, lfid that is uh, linux foundation id so with okay. your uh, own uh, G uh, gmail id you can create it and okay. uh, uh, be actively participate in our uh, sure, sure. community meetings yeah. and uh, contribute it is a mix of like and uh, to have uh, medical doctors it is really good to have over okay. here in the healthcare sure. special interest group so we can like engineers mm -hmm. and doctors together we can build a uh, uh, needed blockchain uh, applications and today's oh, sure, meeting sure. we can uh, wind off now and uh, okay. we can conduct uh, there will be it is actually planned as a bi-weekly meetings so uh, mm -hmm. i will share this uh, agenda page and notes page also with you there will be forms in it please fill the form mm -hmm. and uh, let okay. us know whether it has to be conducted bi-weekly or monthly like how it has to be done so thank you once again thank you okay. for listening okay we will do that we will do that I think Meera has also joined us. I think uh, there's, 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 uh, Akbar Ali is also there. Yeah, no, they both uh, just left. Achha, they have both left. Yeah. Okay. Achha. Okay, we will meet. Okay, we will meet. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you Nsuya, for, for joining me. Yes. Thank you.